In this video, I'm going to introduce you to profit and loss appropriation account. The profit and loss appropriation account is uh, essentially a sequel to the profit and loss account. It's, it tells you what happens to the profit that is made during the year after the profit and loss account is closed. Let's get started. So this is a typical format of profit and loss account. You have seen all these items before. There's nothing new. Uh, you have sales here. You have all the direct expenses here. You have gross profit. Gross profit is brought down. You have other incomes and then you have indirect expenses which include operating and non-operating expenses. You pay for some non-cash expenses which can be depreciation. Uh, you pay for taxes and then you have the profit. So in the course till now we have been only looking at the income statement the profit and loss account till this extent. What happens after this? After this uh, what happens is this profit this profit needs to be distributed. This profit needs to be uh, appropriated. So the appropriation essentially refers to the distribution distribution I think more than appropriation misappropriation is more you know a popular term so this is the right appropriation it's not a misappropriation this is the right kind of appropriation that you need to do now where do you distribute this you have to distribute some of these uh, some of this profit to the preference shares they need to be paid a dividend you also need to pay a dividend to equity so equity dividend needs to be paid and then you could transfer some of the profit to some reserves that you have so reserves can be general in nature or reserves can be for specific needs of the company general reserve could be a multi-purpose reserve wherein you put money and then in future some contingency arises and then you can say okay let's take money from the general reserve Specific reserve would be that we have to pay back this specific loan in next five years. So every year we are going to save some amount of profit and put it in the separate account so that at the end of the five years we have money when we have to pay the principal amount of this loan. So that's a specific reserve. Likewise for any purpose when you create a, a reserve uh, you should not use it for any other purpose. That's the idea. So there can be a general reserve or a specific reserve and then whatever is left uh, gets added to the you know balance in profit and loss account so there is a balance this is called retained earning <clears throat> so retained earning can be then carried forward to the next year to say all right over the years we have accumulated this additional money uh, even after paying everybody saving for future contingencies we still have some money left and uh, during profit made during the year will be added to that amount all right so that is what the appropriation means and therefore after this after these two sections in the profit and, uh, and loss account we prepared the third section and then we start calling profit and loss account as the profit and loss appropriation account here on the screen uh, you see the same section there as as before and the new uh, information and new data in this statement is as follows this third section is called profit and loss appropriation account or when prepared you know uh, in this wholesome way you can call the whole thing as the profit and loss appropriation but the appropriation is happening here in the third section so this 4000 which is the profit made during the year uh, this is carried down and then it is uh, uh, you know brought forward as well so this 4000 is shown here which means during the year during the current year 4000 uh, additional profit has been made and this 7000 here is taken from the balance sheet in the balance sheet there is an account called reserve and surpluses major head and within that you will find uh, an item called balance in profit and loss account this is the money that this is the balance i was talking about in the previous slide you have this retained earning you keep it in the profit and loss account uh, because this is now unutilized this is uh, you know left to the business for some future purposes 
So in this case, this 7000 is left over from the previous years after you know doing everything, every appropriation that you wanted to do. And this year, you have 4000 more that you have made. Therefore, you have 11,000 rupees in the profit and loss account, which can now be appropriated, okay, which can now be distributed. This year we made only 4000, but from the previous year, 7000 was with us. And you can use those 7000 from the previous year in this year. So it's not important, it's not um, essential that you only distribute the 4000. You can club it to the previous balance. Now, this total 11,000 can be distributed if you like. How is it distributed? Let's go to the debit side. On the debit side, you have all the appropriations. Where do you want to distribute this? Well, we want to pay a dividend to the preference shareholders, 200 out of this 1100 total that we have. Then we also want to uh, have some money set aside in if we decide to pay dividend to the equity shareholders. 400, all right, keep it aside. Then you have a general reserve. Let's put some money aside for the rainy day. So 400 has been kept aside. If you do all of this, after doing all of this, you are left with 10,000 at the end of the appropriation, which can be taken to the next year as well. So in this case, we only used 1000. We only used 1000. Let's say if you say from this 4000, we use uh, 1000, then 3000 is left. And uh, from the previous year, 7000 was the balance. So uh, now you are left with uh, the 10,000 closing balance because 3000 is added into this 7000 and you have uh, new balance 10,000 here. All right. So again, just to uh, make things uh, further more clear, let me uh, re-emphasize on this point. What I'm saying is this 7000 was from the previous year. So you already had this money. In this year, you have 4000 that you made. So you add to this. Now you have 11000 that you can distribute. You distribute only 1000. Therefore, you are left with 10000 which can be taken to next year and then be distributed. You could very well decide, you could also decide that instead of, uh, you know, uh, 200, we will pay 1200, 1400 and 1400. All right. So 3000 more, which would mean all the 4000 is going to be exhausted. So yes, this comes out to be 4000. So 4000 has been distributed and you are left with only 7000, which was, which you already had. So current year's earnings have been totally distributed. The other case could be that you uh, distribute uh, 1200, 1400 and 2400, which means you are not using just the 4000, but you're also using one additional, uh, uh, 1000 additional from this uh, uh, 7000. So you will be left with a balance of 6000 only to be taken to the next year. Therefore, you used 7,000, uh, you used 4,000 from the previous year and you used uh, 4,000 from the current year and 1,000 from the previous year. So total 5,000 has been distributed in this year. So all these scenarios can take place, but what is important for you to understand is this previous year's balance. What is this balance? Where is it coming from? Uh, and the balance, which is, you know, the closing balance in the retained earnings. All right. So all of this is when you look at the statement of a company, it is uh, given to you in a statement format, uh, which is as follows. We have sales, we have other incomes. You are familiar with this uh, format. So let's say 110 is the total income. And then you have all the rest of uh, expenses. You have cost of goods sold. You have employee benefit expenses. Uh, you have depreciation and amortization and then you have finance cost finance cost and then all the rest of expenses here and then you have uh, uh, profit before the taxes you pay tax on it and you have profit after taxes here so after this you uh, take money you you appropriate the money and then you say we are paying 
dividend to equity, we are paying dividend to preference and we are transferring to general reserve and so on. So all I'm saying is you could also have it in a, uh, you know, one at the top of the other in this format, in the statement format, nothing would change. You would uh, again have uh, all the balances uh, here. So uh, the only difference between the account format and the statement format is that this balance does not appear in the statement format. But you know, all these details are provided in different ways in the statement. There are notes provided. Uh, there are other details that are provided. Okay, so uh, uh, this is the uh, profit and loss appropriation account that I wanted to discuss in this video. Uh, the reason for discussing this appropriation is uh, we uh, is that we are going to make uh, extensive use of this appropriation because most of the appropriation that you do, uh, you know, does not result in cash being affected. For example, a provision being created does not mean the dividend has actually been paid or transferring to reserve uh, does not mean the cash is being paid and in the cash flow statement we are only interested in the uh, cash transaction therefore this profit and loss appropriation account uh, becomes important for us in order to track to identify non-cash uh, items and then segregate them to arrive at only the cash flows of the business all right I'll see you in the next video.